the uh, causeway that goes across the entire Great Salt Lake. And I'm, oh, I'm probably close to halfway across. Just gives you an idea how big this lake really is. Great day for exploring on the trusted 1190. review on my bike this is a 2015 1190 adventure R and I've got 25,000 about 300 miles on it as of today and uh, I guess the one thing I should say about it is I absolutely love it I bought a brand new and just absolutely hammer the thing uh, I hit 131 or so miles an hour today on it down the straights I mean the thing just pulls and pulls and pulls and uh, I've had no major malfun mal mechanical uh, malfunctions with it whatsoever. I did replace the clutch slave cylinder at about 18,000 miles because I know they're prone to go. Uh, I did have a fuel filter get clogged on it, which started it, made it, made it kind of run bad and ended up just changing that out and then it teared it and it runs like a champ. I have pull panniers, Tortec panniers that I put on it and I camp off it all the time. Tons of solo camping and then my buddy's got one too that we go camp just one nighters usually someplace. So that's about it. Uh, it's a good play it. I put the uh, Super Duke 1290 pipe on there right after I got it. Now I've seen a bunch of guys online doing that. I'm not sure if I was the first, but it uh, saves you a ton of weight and it was cheap. I got it for 150 bucks on eBay. That's about it. That's about it. 25,000, uh, 300 something miles. Absolutely love this bike. I've just been down to the, one of the very southern tips in the Great Salt Lake and just had a heck of a good ride today. I rode my buddy's 790, brand new 790 Adventure uh, the other day and I must say it felt a little lighter, a little more nimble, uh, super tall, and you know like i've always said anything over 400 pounds off-road is just a big heavy street bike with dirt bike tires that's just reality you're, you're just not going to be able to do things unless you're chris birch i guess but i'm certainly not going to be able to do that kind of stuff so i ride it you know mostly dirt roads and you know good two track but nothing gnarly i've had it up some stuff that i regretted but it's tough to do that alone for sure so i try to stay off the super gnarly stuff by myself but I absolutely love this bike great day today I was gonna add some of my mods that I've done so I took out the stock air filter right after I got it and I actually have the power cell pods inside the two foam individual pods and I think that is probably the best setup on these that way you retain your stock air box so hardly any junk gets in there and every time I've opened them up they've been clear and clean and the, the intakes have been super clean so I'm very happy with that uh, geez that's about the only mod I think I've done oh I've done all the Rottweiler uh, fueling dongles and emissions delete and all that crap that's on there for sure uh, heated grips that's about it it's a good plate of course and uh, yeah that's about it all I can think of 
great bike. Highly recommend them. The 1090, I'm sure, is just as good, and the 1290 is probably a little better. But uh, for me, this 1190 is just a killer machine. One of the best bikes I've ever owned, and I've owned a bunch of bunch of bikes. So I love this bike. My goal is 50,000 miles on this bike. We'll see if I make it. After riding that new 790, I'm very interested now in to ride the, the new Yamaha Tenere T7 and just see how it feels. Um, but like I said, anything over 400 pounds, you're, you're just a big heavy bike off-road. That's just the facts. So anyway, killer day today. Love the 1190. Get out and ride, people.